Shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Hadash, Laiwanam Yum. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there who are doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. I'm going to get right into it. Um, what's on my spirit right now is to talk about how the Lord is calling the true men out of this world. Okay. Now, there's not going to be no long lesson. This is just something that uh, hit my spirit. You know, um, this is another addition to uh, the Plantation Chronicles series I was doing on the channel. Okay. <clears throat> Um, now, uh, an employee came up to me and, um, he was discussing with me about how, um, he got in tour with this other employee because, you know, the other employee is not working as hard as everybody else. Okay. And, uh, he, um, uh, came up to me and told me that he had words with the guy. Now, I, I'm just now starting this job, so I don't know why people coming up to me. You know, it's all through the spirit, okay? This is not, you know, something that you could just make up or, or you know, for, for uh, or it's a coincidence, you know? Things happen through the spirit to, um, to either better you, you know, to try you, for you to get better, or for you to do a lesson on, things like that, right? Um, but yeah, this employee came up to me. I'm not gonna say his name. But yeah, he came up to me and he was telling me about how he had words with this other guy who was not working as hard as everybody else. Like, and I uh, I can attest to that. Like, uh, I was working with the guy, the other employee, and I had to pick up the slack. I had to actually, um, you know, do more work. And and he, he disappeared. You know, he went to the bathroom or he, he did something to the point where he was gone for 20 to 30 minutes, okay? And I got the type of job where, you know, if you're not on it, or if, you, you're, if you're not working as a team, then other people are gonna feel it. You know, the ones who, who are working to the best of their ability, the ones who are giving it their all, they're gonna feel it, okay? They're gonna feel it, man. All right. And now I'm saying all this to say, you know, the Lord has given every last one of us, you know, a, a, a job, a duty in this ministry. You know, if you don't know your office, pray to the Lord and, and hope that He revealed to you what your office is. You know, the things that you gotta do pertaining to the Spirit, and you gotta do it. You know, to the best of your ability, you gotta go a hundred percent, you know, in this truth, as well as you gotta go a hundred percent, you know, working on the job. You know, the scripture says that, man. You know, you gotta you gotta um um give it your all, man. You know, you can't be a a, a, a slug, you know, you can't be a slugger, you gotta give it your all and you know, he was voicing to me on how he had to, you know, go up to the other employee, how they had to, they, they exchanged words and almost, you know, got violent, you know, and, and it's amazing how, you know, worldly things can correlate with the spirit, you know, it can correlate with the spirit and you got to have the ears to hear. So and when he walked up to me and and told me what happened, I immediately immediately knew that I was gonna do a lesson on it. All right, and he said certain things like, you know, men should be able to talk to men. If you got a dilemma or if you if you're you know at odds with a man, don't whisper behind his back. No, go up to him and tell him. You know, I'm just thinking in my head while he's saying that, like that's the spirit. You know. The scriptures even said that, man, if you have all with your brother, go to your brother alone and tell him what the problem is. Tell him that you have a problem with him 
and then you know if if, if both of y'all come to an agreement you have gained a brother roughly paraphrasing the scriptures but then if you don't come to an agreement then you gotta bring others involved so just like on a job if you have a predicament or a problem with another employee and y'all talked it out but y'all couldn't come to a, a agreement then who got to get involved other employees other you know higher ups like managers you know so the workforce is is similar to you know this truth right because this truth is our number one profession okay so it's a way that you're supposed to carry yourself in this thing if you have all with a brother go nip that in the bud man you know leo um um the scripture says that man you know get right with your brother before you come to the lord man you know roughly paraphrasing okay because that's part of uh being a true man <clears throat> you know the people in this world the men in this world they're not true men okay they're not they're not men at all they're boys right they're boys in adult bodies okay they're emotional you know you can't have a conversation with them you know as soon as you try to correct or rebuke they got a problem you know they want to fight you they want to shoot you you know that's all their uh that's all their um their feminine qualities coming out why because they were raised by single black mothers who didn't know how to have a conversation right you literally and i'm speaking for myself too as well man you know hey man i grew up you know my parents couldn't even have a fucking conversation man without insulting you without cursing at you you know when it, it shouldn't you know i ain't gonna get all into it but you know these parents that raised us they out of their fucking mind man okay and and you can't blame them you know even though in the flesh you want to you like how the fuck you end up that way why did you even have kids you know in the flesh you start asking questions like that but then you know in the spirit you know it was all written to happen you know it's it's really no fault of their own um you know because it was written for them to be that way okay so the moral of the story is the Lord is calling us to be men. The Lord is calling men back. And see, you driving like a, man, I'm telling you, if you're not a defensive driver out here, you need to be a defensive driver because people are idiots, man. You know, they're idiots, but I digress. Back to the point at hand, man. All right. You know, these, these worldly people have come to you and they have valid points. Of course, they're not in the truth. They're still of the world. But like the scripture says, man, you know, my people have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge, right? It's this wisdom, it's this knowledge and understanding that separate us from the people in this world, okay? But they are still come to you and say certain things and, and you can correlate it with the spirit, okay? Hey, man, the Lord is calling true men out here, man. He's not calling you, uh, you, you super emotional ass Jakes, man. You got your emotions on your sleeve. You wear your emotions on your sleeve. Soon somebody say something to you, you're ready to jap out. You ready to, you know what I'm saying? Go berserk. You know, soon as rebuke come on, you all in your feelings and shit. Instead of taking the rebuke. Hey, man, that's not manly, man. If you're feeling this way, repent and pray to the Lord that um he, he put a manly spirit on you man okay because when you come out of this world you got a bunch of bullshit on you you got a bunch of false lies you know you got the characteristics of your mother on you you know a lot of us you know never really had a father if you did have a father he, if you did have a dad he was absent he wasn't really being a dad his ass was in the streets or something you know but a lot of us grew up 80 to 90 percent of the so-called blacks and Native Americans and Hispanics households is nothing but women, man. Okay, nothing but women who are full of emotion and they fly by night. You know, they fly by night, man. Okay, you know, as soon as something happened, the world just is just different now. 
You know, that's why women can't lead. Because soon something happened, their emotions cause them to think and to act irrationally. Okay? All right? By us coming into this truth, you're putting off of those, you're putting off that feminine quality, putting off those feminine ways, putting off the characteristics and the spirit of your mother. Okay? You're, you're being taught how to be men. And we have to be taught that, man. You have to be taught how to be a man. You know? Can't no woman teach you how to be a man. All right? You know, women like to um, backbite and, and, and talk about you, but not really. You know, they'll throw out windows and, and shit like that. You know why? Because if you approach them, they have a way out. You know, that's how women like to play it. And that's how these men out here like to play it too. They'll be talking about you, you know, they'll say certain things about you, okay? But then as soon as you try to confront them about it, nah, I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't, you know, that wasn't towards you. Yes, the fuck it was, man, you know? But now I'm being a man. Now a man is uh, calling you out on your shit. Now you're trying to backpedal. You know, that's the, that's the characteristics of this world, man. You know, that's the characteristics of this world. You know, they, they, they like to hide behind their hand, man. You know, they'll throw out wickedness. They'll throw out insults. They'll throw out backbiting. But as soon as you approach them or confront them, they hide behind their hand. They'll be like, nah, it wasn't for you. You know, all that is female shit, man. Okay. If you get rebuked in this truth, it was for a reason. It was for something you did in your past life. It was for something you did that you didn't know you did. <laughs> it was for something that you did that you know you did. Either way it goes, man, rebuke comes through the spirit. Okay? Rebuke comes through the spirit. And how you handle it shows if you're a man or not. And I'm speaking to the men here, man. You know, the true men. The ones who are practicing being a man. <clears throat> because like I said, man, you know, in this world, in this world, it teaches you how to be a fucking woman. It teaches you how to be feminine. Everybody is weak and docile and super emotional. And, you know, their feelings get hurt easily. You know, you can't be like that in this truth, man. Okay? You can't be no super emotional ass dude, man. You gonna get kicked out. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with no effeminate. You know, a brother can't say nothing to you. A brother can't rebuke you. You think you're on, you think you can't re be rebuked? We all fall short of the glory, man, every single moment. You know, the scriptures tell us that there is no man on this earth that sin of not. So if that's the case, then you can be rebuked. You could be corrected. Okay? Going with that pride shit, man. You know, I don't know who this is for. You know, but if the shoe fit, wear it, man. If it don't fit, don't put it on. You know, hopefully this is edifying, man. You know? Hey, man, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, men are being brought back to their true destinies. Men are being called. When the Lord said, you know, um, many are called, but few are chosen. Guess what? Many have been called. And, and many will fall off because they're super emotional. That's why a few shall be chosen. Because the few will understand rebuke. The few will not have their emotions on their shoulders, man. You know, some of the shit that you, that you will bring up, you know, it, it really holds no weight. Let's say you get rebuked or, or some shit, you know what I'm saying, go down. It's best to just suffer wrongfully, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and go about your day, man. Everything don't have to be brought up, you know? That's part of being a man. Stop being super offended. Stop being over, over emotional to the point where you get offended over everything, man. We're in this thing to be stoic, to be men. Let, let, let bullshit or let stuff just roll off us, man. Okay? We're not, we're not in this thing to, 
to be emotional, okay? So that's what the dude was saying to me, man, you know? He, he was telling me, you know, hey, men supposed to be able to talk to each other. If a, if a man got a problem with another man, he should be able to go up to him and tell him that. That's what men do, and he was right. Little do he know he was right, man, okay? That's what men do, you know? Hey man, leave them female qualities to women, to females, man, okay? We are men, we are called to be men. <clears throat> We're called to be men, men of the Lord, man of the Lord. If you a man of the Lord, you gonna act like it, man. You know, now we're not perfect, but we can strive to be, you know? We can strive to be perfect, and then at the end of that fight, we're gonna be made perfect, man, through the spirit, man. Through the spirit and power, you how about Shemiel Rashai? Lord willing, you know, I'm a part of that number. Lord willing, those who are listening are a part of the like, you know, you're gonna get that new body and a new mind where you will never go off, man. You know? Didn't the scripture tell us in Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3 that the Lord is a man of war? You know? He's a man of war. All right? And we are also soldiers called, right? We're, we're soldiers in this thing. We're not meant to be entangled with the, with the world. We're not meant to be entangled with our emotions, okay? Fuck your feelings, man, all right? And you gotta do what's, what needs to be done. And that's what being a man is, you know? You doing what needs to be done even if you don't wanna do it. You doing what needs to be done, you know, even when people don't appreciate you. You doing what needs to be done, you know, even when everything is stacked against you, man. You holding yourself accountable. You know? Hey man, it's beautiful to actually be a man. You know? It's beautiful, man. A lot of shit that just don't affect you, shouldn't affect you, especially words. Even though words are, you know, words are life, you know, the scriptures tell us that, you know, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Yeah, we know that. You know, in this kingdom though, you gotta be wise, man. You gotta be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, like the scripture says, you know? Hey, the scripture says what? Agree with your adversary quickly. When you are in a way with him. That's talking about our enemies, two thirds of our people. And that's also talking about, you know, um, um, Esau, Edom, these other nations. The scripture says, if it's possible, be at peace with all men. That means you, you ain't got to be buddy, buddy with them, but you don't have to be, um, confrontational every time you see the person, you know, <clears throat> use your Hawashai as an example. What did Yahawashai do to his enemies? What will Yahawashai do to his enemies? You know? So hopefully this is edifying, Yasharala. You know, I, I know I ran on a rant, you know, but hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahawah, Bahashim, Yahawashai, Bahashim, Rakah, Khwadash, Baywalam Yum. Double honors once again to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom one once again to the elect. The ones out there who are doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. Shalom, Rosh Yasharala, Salakia. Shalom, Yasharala. Don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. That's what they want to do. It's our job to repent and keep it moving through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom, until the next one.